Death Valley is the lowest place in the U.S. and holds the global record for the highest recorded air temperature. But low altitude and searing heat cannot explain how 700-pound rocks move as far as 1,500 feet across the valley floor. Some of these rocks are heavy. They could easily be three to 400 pounds. They've actually been pushed by some force across these dry lake beds. There's this extraordinary sense that this rock shouldn't be there. Somehow it, it, it moved. Some of these trails hundreds of yards long, sort of parallel in concert. It's really exceptional for rocks to move somehow by themselves. What's going on here? But these weird moving rocks are not a new phenomenon. They've been happening on the dry lake bed for so long, locals call it racetrack playa. <laughs> The first reference is around the 1850s when they would mention these rocks with these long snake-like trails behind them. There are no footprints or other signs of activity anywhere near the trails on the cracked mud. No human moved these stones. In the search for answers, researchers scour the historical record for clues and find tantalizing evidence in ancient Native American rock carvings. When the native times, there is a clear indication of something up in the sky that's unexplained. One of the claims of how these rocks mysteriously move is electromagnetic fields generated by UFOs. Historically, there have been a lot of UFO phenomena in and around Death Valley, so it's natural for some to assume that there's a relationship between UFOs and rocks that seem to move mysteriously. Although sightings of strange flying objects have been reported in the area for many years, suspected UFO activity has never been caught on camera. Until now. In January 2013, Photographer Gavin Heffernan is shooting a night sky time lapse above the rocks of Death Valley. Essentially, he uh, used very long exposure photography to let as much light as possible in and allow us to see things in the sky that our naked eye would not actually reveal to us. So, with the combination of Death Valley's unbelievable dark skies and with this long exposure, all of a sudden we're looking a little further into space than you really can imagine is possible. Heffernan captures a trail in the sky circling above them. We're wondering, what was that? None of us had heard anything. None of us had seen anything with our eyes at the location. So it was quite a surprise to actually see something so significant circling three times over, over this shot. Could this be the mysterious cause of Death Valley's wandering rocks? Planetary scientist Ralph Lorenz doesn't think so. There's actually a clue uh, to this process, and that is that in the uh, Canadian Arctic, boulders can be rafted by ice. So you can have acres of, of ice uh, for the wind to drag on. That magnifies the, the wind force on a rock and, and can bulldoze it. But Death Valley is not an icy wasteland. It's the hottest place on Earth. A NASA-funded research team sets up an experiment to track the rocks on racetrack playa for 10 years. After a two-year wait, their patience pays off. Until very recently, nobody had seen the rocks move, uh, but in fact, that changed uh, this winter. In winter, the extreme temperatures of Death Valley can work both ways. Death Valley is a desert, but during winter, especially at night, it freezes when that lake froze over. On several occasions, rocks have been seen to move. Sheet ice forms around the rocks, lifting them clear of the lake bed. When the ice thaws, it breaks up. Some of it clings to the rock, forming a kind of floating lifesaver. On the slippery mud of the lake bed, a gentle push from the wind is enough to slide the rocks along the valley floor. If the ice is somehow floating the rocks, then you hardly need any wind at all, actually, to, to move it. 